Hey, this is Mike with another playthrough. Today we're looking at Chiseled, which is a game currently on Kickstarter from a little studio, Copper Frog Games. And I hadn't heard of this one, but Jeremy from Man Vs. Meeple and Jambalaya Games suggested I give it a try. And since I like deck builders, or in this case, a reverse deck builder, I uh, gave it a go. So we're going to do a full playthrough of the solo game here, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the solo game in a separate review video. But let's get right into the game and how to play. So for solo setup, you're going to start with a deck with nine heads, nine bodies, and nine arm cards in three different suits, yellow, black, and gray. You'll additionally have 18 rubble cards shuffled in with the mix. So that'll go right here on your draw pile. Next, you take the tools. There are 13 in total, and you shuffle them up, and you draw seven. And these are going to be the randomized mix of ways that you can cull your deck, because again, this entire game is about deconstructing a deck, not building it up. And finally, you're going to take the critic cards and draw three of them. And these will give you bonus ways to earn points based on their text down here. And for the very last step of setup, you take an extra critic card and you put it over your check-in card so that the five is showing, but not the lower values. Now, there are other options you can try in solo, like one of the three solo challenges, or you can include these wax cards that can make the game a little bit longer and more challenging. We're going to show you the full-on basics here. All right, let's go to a zoomed out view of kind of everything so we can teach you how to play. So you start out the game with three cards in your hand. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick one of your tools to adjust either your hand or your deck or your discard pile. So for example, the heavy sled says trash two cards from your hand and trash the top card of any draw pile. And solo, you only have your own draw pile. So I could, for example, trash this rubble and uh, this black arm. Your trash pile gets put up here and you can divide it up by color and then further kind of splay the symbol so you can see how many arms and bodies and heads you have in there. And when you use a tool, you flip it face down. Any cards that were not trashed by the tool you chose get discarded. So let's say in this case that I'd used the heavy sledge, trash an arm, and a rubble, and the top card, another rubble. Then the body that was left over would get discarded. Then at the end of my turn, I draw three new cards. Now some of the tools will adjust this and give you extra cards, but generally you're going to be drawing three more. And if I get at least one rubble in my draw, then nothing happens. But if in my new hand all of them are bodies, arms, and or heads, so none of them are rubble, then your check-in count goes down by one. And this basically means the art critics are paying more attention to you, and if you get all the way down to zero, then your game immediately stops and you score your cards. When you go through your full deck and have to draw again after that, you just reshuffle it like any other deck builder. And when you've used all seven of the tools, they all get flipped face up. So your options go down until you get them all back again. So that's it for the basics of play, but scoring has a few things going on. So you score based on your remaining deck for each of the body parts. For bodies, a little symbol right here, you want to have exactly five. So ideally you want to trash four. If you go too far above or below that value, you get to decreasing points as shown here. For arms, you want to have as few as possible, but in a pair. So if you have two left, that's the best. Uh, four left is a little bit less, six left and eight left. But if you have an odd number, so you don't have enough to like fully furnish uh, multiple statues, then you get zero points. And then finally, heads are always bad to trash. You'll see that you get two points for each head card and every single card you trash just decreases that. So in simple terms, in an ideal deck, you want to have five body cards, two arm cards, all nine head cards, and you want to get rid of all of your rubble because they're each worth minus three victory points. But additionally, you're going to have three critics who can each give you four bonus points. Now, they only care about colors and rubble, and they only care about your trash pile. So everything I just said was for your draw pile and your discard pile, basically everything that's left at the end of the game, but the critics care about your trash pile. So like the Renaissance patron wants me to have more yellow cards than gray cards. The Techno Futurist doesn't care about either of those, but he wants five or more black cards for his four points. And then the Balanced Archaeologist wants my pile to have rubble and no more than two colors. So if I have uh, yellow, gray, and black, I can't get her four points. And that's it. That's how you play the game. You go until your check-in card runs out, and then you see how your trash pile did with the critics and how your draw deck and discard pile did with the ideal statue set. So let's get into the actual game and show you how the whole thing plays. All right, so first quick strategy discussion. Just kind of look, looking at my ideals here. Uh, so five more black cards. That doesn't interact with the other ones much except for her. And this one says more gold than silver. So I guess ideally here I would have some gold, five or more black, and zero silver because she only wants two or more colors. So I basically want to avoid gray going into my trash pile. Otherwise, she's done if I'm also getting both of these. Meanwhile, looking at my tools... At the bottom, I've got a pointed chisel and wax. Pointed chisel trashes a card from my hand or my discard pile. Kind of cool flexibility there. 
Wax is a really fun one. I can trash a card from my hand or I can bring a card back from my trash pile. So if I accidentally like blew up a head, I can get it back. Heavy Sludge we already saw in the example, but it trashes two cards from my hand and the top card of my draw pile, which could be good or bad and might need the wax to fix. The Tooth Chisel is a pretty nice one. I reveal the top two cards of my draw pile. I trash one, I discard the other. So it gives me some mitigation there. I'm getting to my last three at the top. The Polishing Rag trashes one card from my hand and then I draw an extra card next turn. And that's both good and bad because I'll have more options of what I can do with my hand. But also I have to have at least three cards that aren't rubble to trigger my checking card going down. So that can accelerate it by drawing more cards for me. Uh, the Flat Chisel, I reveal the top three cards in my draw pile and just trash rubble, discard the rest. So that's a nice one because I can't accidentally blow up things I want. Then the Polishing Stone trashes one card from each draw pile and then I draw an additional card. Now I don't like the Polishing Stone much at all. It's gonna trash something random that I might want and then drawing it for cards again can be a negative. All right, so let's get into it. So my first hand, I wouldn't check for the check-in card anyway. I'm okay with the two rubble. I don't really want gray cards, member. So maybe I'll go ahead and use my heavy sledge. So I'll trash two cards from my hand and the top card of my draw deck. Hopefully that won't be a gray. So I'm discarding the one body. These get trashed up here, plus oh, another rubble. Now don't forget, I don't wanna get rid of all my rubble because that'll mean the check-in card will just blitz forward. I don't want that to happen. Okay, next turn. Whoa! Man, if I'd used a little flat chisel last turn, I would have destroyed three rubble. Okay, let's use the polishing rag, because again, uh, drawing an extra card is kind of dangerous, so it might be safer right now. So I'm going to trash one card from my hand, and I'll draw four cards this next round. So the other two rubble go away. I'm drawing four cards. Oh, nice, two rubble. So I do not advance the check-in card, because I didn't get three body, arms, or heads. Now remember, I do want to get rid of arms and bodies, but black, not gray, because five or more black will get me the one critic bonus. So let's go ahead and use the pointed chisel. Just trash one card from my hand. I could have trashed a card from my discard pile, but don't need to yet. And all the recipes, including the rubble, will go away. Okay, three more. I don't want to get rid of that arm. Let's use one of the ones that goes to the top of my deck. All right, we'll go with my least favorite, the polishing stone. I'm going to trash the top card of my draw pile. Although I guess it is up to one card, so I could just trash nothing, but I, what the heck. Okay, rubble, that was fine. And then I'll draw four cards this round instead of three. Okay, definitely didn't get, oh man, I don't want to trash heads at all. Ooh, I know, I'll use the uh, tooth chisel because that doesn't mess with my hand. I revealed two cards from the top of the deck. I'm going to trash one and discard the other. So, oh yes, uh, a black body is definitely fine. So I'll discard the rubble for now. Okay, I'm down to uh, two more tools. Let's see, a yellow body is fine. I don't want to trash a head. The rubble is fine. Don't need the wax's ability to heal something. So yeah, let's go ahead and trash a uh, another body, a yellow one this time. And the rest of these will be discarded. So the next one, I'm just gonna search for some rubble. So I still have at least one rubble, no threes of the regular parts. So no check in advancing. But I'm forced at this point to use the flat chisel. So I'm gonna look at the next three cards and trash any rubble in there, which is none, okay. But hey, I didn't mind that because that means if I had drawn that hand, then I would have gotten the check-in card advancing. Okay, so all my tools return. They're all available again, and I draw a new hand. Okay. Ah, grays. I don't want to do grays. So that's basically how the game goes. I'm going to play a little faster now. You should kind of have the concept of how everything works. So let's see. Let's use the polishing rag, get rid of the rubble, and draw four cards this turn. And okay, I did get one, two, three cards that are not rubble, so my check-in advances to four. I'm a little closer to the game ending. Now, meanwhile, I'd like to trash that arm. I wouldn't mind trashing the rubble. Let's use the heavy sledge. So the heavy sledge lets me trash three things from my hand. Definitely going to go with another black arm. And I don't want to lose any heads. Remember, those always lose me victory points. And then I also have to trash the top card of my deck. Hopefully this is not bad. Oh, yellow body, I can handle that. Remember, my art critic just wants more yellow cards than gray cards, so I'm clearly fine for that right now. Uh, four bodies is my optimal, uh, because I want to have five bodies left in my deck, and I started with nine. Okay, getting close to the end of my draw deck. Oh, crud. Going down check-in again, so, hmm. I want to trash both of those, because I don't mind trashing some grays. But yeah, the other gold one I don't really want. Yeah, I don't have any way to trash two things. A pointed chisel could trash it even when it's in the discard pile. But let's go ahead and use that now. So I think the more important one is the arms. I gotta trash seven arms for full stuff. And then, oh wait, but if I use the pointed chisel, I can't get to this later. But that's okay, there's still other black uh, bodies coming later. All right, crud, 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 really? 
Wow, I'm only two check-ins away from the end of the game. Darn, I got too many uh, of my uh, rubbles all at once, I guess. I don't really want to trash anything here. Now, let's see. I guess I can use the Polishing Stone to trash a single card from the draw deck. Ah, crud. All right, I can use the Wax to get that back. But now I'm going to draw four cards. I don't really know why I did that. That seemed like a bad choice. All right, so I got three cards after shuffling my deck. Okay, thank you. See, I'm not in a hurry to get rid of any of those. I mean, well, actually, the arm is pretty good. Oh, but I don't have any way to trash anything from my hand. The Tooth Chisel will draw the top two cards and trash one of them. This will draw the top three and trash any rubble. And this could trash a card from my hand or return a card, which I can do at any time. So let's try the Tooth Chisel first. So I'm going to draw two cards and trash one of them. Oh, I don't know if that's great, because now it probably means I'm more likely to draw three of a kind in my next hand. Let's see if that's the case. No, I'm fine. Okay. So I'm not in a hurry to trash any of these. So let's go ahead and use the wax to get the head back, since that hurt me to lose that. And finally, I have to use the flat chisel. I do have a rubble, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to use this. So I'm going to reveal the top three cards in my deck and trash any rubble in there. There was one. Discard the others. All right, so all my tools, all my options are back. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay. Um, let's see. Most points would be for getting another body. And then I'm almost... Ooh, I'll use Heavy Sledge. Because that will destroy both of these uh, black cards. It gets me an optimal body count. I do have uh, four arms out, which means five in my deck. I want an even number, so that's not good. But I do now have five uh, black cards for the one critic. Um, so the head I'll discard. And then I have to discard or trash the top card of my deck with the Heavy Sludge. Hey, that was fine. All right, don't kill me here, game. Don't kill me. Okay, good, good. So I don't want to trash the body. I don't want to trash the head. I kind of just want to trash the uh, rubble. You know, I want to trash as much rubble as possible because I'm getting close to kind of where I want to be here. My body's right. Oh, no, I got to trash another arm. I got to trash another arm. Let's see, is there an arm in my discard pile to use my pointed chisel with? Yes. Yes, there is. Uh, gray or gold. Oh, crud. I forgot. I didn't want to have any gray in my trash pile for this critic. So maybe, yeah, let's use the wax to get the, the gray arm back. And that gives me an even number. Now, not as good of a value of even number, but at least if I get another check-in right here, I'll have, I think, all the critics at this point. Okay, you know, I got a rubble. Okay, I clearly don't want to trash this. Let me just try to get rid of some rubble at this point, and then maybe some arms. So I'll reveal the top three cards of my draw pot with the flat chisel and trash any rubble that's revealed, which is none. That would have uh, ended the game right there. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, so that is it. We've reached the zero. The art critics have come to check my collection and my trash pile. Let's see how we did. All right, this is going to be pretty horrendous because I did not focus on rubble enough. I was so afraid of uh, keeping rubble in my decks that I wouldn't trigger the check-in card going down that I just left it in my deck. So this might be one of my lowest scores ever. All right, so we'll look at body first. I do have five, the ideal amount, so that's 20 points, exactly what I wanted. Arms, not nearly as good. I have six left, which is a pair, so I'll get six points, that's 26 total, but I would have liked to have four or two instead. And then here's the good part. I do have, I think, all of the heads. Three, six, nine, yep, so that's 18 more points, which is a 34, 44 points. That's great. But then, oh God, then. <laughs> Eight. Uh, eight rubble, so that's minus 24. So my 44 becomes 20, ugh. All right, then we check my colors for the critics. So first, the balanced archeologist. Uh, do I have just rubble and at most two colors? Yes, because I got rid of my one gray, so that's four points for her, went up to 24. Does so my final trash pile contain more yellow than gray? Considering it has no gray and two yellow, yes it does, so that's 28. And the Techno Futurist, do I have at least five black? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I do. So 32. And the game comes with a little solo score chart to check. Uh, 32. A truly fine sculpture. I must have it for my home. Okay. So we did pull it out a bit with the critic bonuses, but man, oh man, all of that rubble. Tournament would have been a beautiful score into a pretty middling one. So there you go. That is it. Chiseled solo play. If you'd like to hear my thoughts on the game overall, go check out my review video. Good gaming, and we'll see you at the next stop.